Did you know if you have a long layover with Turkish Airlines, you can qualify for a free, yes, free tour of Istanbul or be put in a four-star hotel for a night for free. Clearly, I chose the tour route and booked a super cheap hotel for a night just to get a good night's sleep during my 24 layover in Istanbul. So in this video, I wanted to share how I spent my 24-hour trip in Istanbul and to see if the free tour provided by Turkish Airlines is worth it or not. I also wanted to share what I did in the first half of my trip before the tour just so you could see what I did prior. The tours that are provided by Turkish Airlines is called Tour Istanbul. In order to qualify for the free tour or even hotel, you must be flying with Turkish Airlines and your layover has to be between 6 to 24 hours long. That's literally it in order to qualify. However, you can only pick one. You can't choose both. I personally recommend doing the tour over the hotel. The tour option provides all of the free transportation. What's great about the tour option is that they have eight different tours to choose from. You basically choose the tour that is going to align well with your departing flight time. I knew the sightseeing tour that started at 8 a.m. and ended at 11.30 a.m. was going to work best with my departing flight so I can make it back in time to catch it. The tour slash hotel option isn't just given to you. Tour Istanbul will only let you do certain tours that make sure you don't miss your flight. However, you will need to request it once you get into the airport. In order to do this, you will need to go through passport control and then find the Turkish Airlines hotel desk on the arrivals terminal floor. You just go up to the desk and request for the tour or hotel if you choose that and show them your boarding pass. You only want to do this once it gets closer to the tour you want. I tried booking the 8 a.m. tour the day I got there and they handed me a tour pass for the shopping tour at night but I didn't want to catch that one so they told me to just arrive at the airport around 7 a.m. the next day to catch the tour I wanted and I did just that so friendly tip you can't book it that early in advance So once I was done with the airport, I had to call a taxi to take me to my hotel. Here is what I was able to capture from the car, but the airport is very far from everything, so I didn't see too much on my way to the hotel. However, the view from my hotel window was pretty lovely and I could see a beautiful mosque outside. It took me about 40 minutes to make my way over to the Sapphire building so I could check out this amazing view. You get your tickets inside the mall for 250 liras and then someone guides you to the elevator to take you to the observation deck. The views were absolutely breathtaking and I got there right as sunset was starting to happen. There was also a whole other side of the deck that had more views to admire. After the Sapphire observation deck, I was starving and I needed food, so I hopped on the metro, but I did get a little bit lost trying to find the place that I wanted to eat at. I just seemed to be very incompetent reading a map that night. I will say I had a nice distraction being able to pet some kitties and seeing the obelisk of the Theodosius, which was this really cool monument near the Sultan Ahmad. And once I finally did enough walking from being lost and petting lots of cute kitties and giving them attention, I finally found the restaurant. And it was called Vital. And and it's right by the Bosphorus Strait. I got some red wine and ate some hummus and fries, which aren't pictured here, because I was just feeling really basic that night. It was pretty dead inside, but I didn't mind a peaceful and quiet dinner in a really gorgeous place. The staff was also really nice and they took pretty good care of me. After dinner, I pretty much called it a night and went back to the hotel because it was too dark to see the Hagia Sophia and Blue Mosque like I wanted to. So it's tour day, so I woke up early to get back to the airport to grab my pass to catch the morning tour. All tours depart from the Istanbul airport, specifically near the hotel desk. You are led to a tour bus, and what's nice is that they have storage for your luggage so it is safe and you're not carrying it around. Most of the sightseeing tour, which was the 8 a.m. one, involved pretty much being on the bus for the whole time and really just seeing things from the window. It was raining that day, so I didn't completely mind, but I did wish there were more opportunities to get off the bus and take pics and really explore further. However, the tour was only three hours, so there really wasn't enough time to do that. We saw a lot of views of the Amino District, the Balat District, and the Yankapi Harbor, and tons of mosques. We did get a chance to finally hop off the bus to have photo opportunities on the Galata Bridge, which extends over the Golden Horn, which is a small estuary that eventually connects into the Bosphorus. We had about 10 minutes to walk around and take pictures. We got a decent view of the Galata Tower from 
the bridge along with some beautiful mosques nearby. Then they took us to the Domobachi Palace which was my favorite part. We didn't have enough time to go in and do the tour but we did have an hour of free time around the campus. I did some walking around and lots of picture taking. I was really craving some coffee and I was so glad that there was a cafe chilling alongside the Bosphorus. I ordered a Turkish coffee and it was really delicious but super strong so it makes sense as to why it was pretty much in an espresso mug and that was actually my first time having Turkish coffees. Plus I enjoyed this adorable random cat chilling in the cafe which is pretty common for Istanbul. I also enjoyed walking around and admiring all the Turkish flag pennants. I got to see their soccer stadium while the tour was wrapping up after we had left the Domobache Palace and then we were off to the airport to conclude the tour. Overall, do I think tour Istanbul is worth it? I really do. While I do wish there were more opportunities to get off the bus on the sightseeing tour, there are plenty of tours that do offer more exploring. This tour was the only one that really aligned back with my departing flight and making sure that I would get back in time to catch it. If you do have a layover in Istanbul with Turkish Airlines and it's super long, I definitely recommend seeing which tours work with your departing flight and taking advantage of it. You get free transportation with it after all and some do even include breakfast and lunch. But if I am truly being honest in my silly ways, the cats were probably my favorite part of Istanbul. They were everywhere and it really made me excited to go back to my cat the following day and I enjoyed petting and playing with as many as I could. Istanbul is truly a beautiful city and I really wish I had more time. I definitely want to go back and explore more of it and even see the Asia side because I was on the European side when I visited. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever done this tour before and if you liked this video and it makes you want to do this free tour, make sure you do give it a thumbs up and with that I will see you in my next video. Bye!